This nation is a work in progress. We are a promise and a dream. We are a nation built upon the principles of equality and justice, but still striving to realize our ideals, to fulfill the promise, to perfect the dream. That is why ADL was founded 100 years ago and why ADL still exists today. In each generation since its founding, the Anti-Defamation League has been a force for change, a champion of our nation's values, and a shield against hate and extremism. Nineteen thirteen, the Jewish community of the United States faced rampant anti-Semitism and overt discrimination. Books, plays, and above all, newspapers depicted Jews with crude stereotypes. Against this backdrop of bigotry and intolerance, an attorney from Chicago named Sigmund Livingston put forth a bold idea to create an organization with the mission to stop the defamation of the Jewish people and to secure justice and fair treatment to all. Starting with a $200 budget and two desks in Livingston's law office, the Anti-Defamation League was founded with the clear understanding that the fight against one form of prejudice could not succeed without battling prejudice in all forms. During this same time, an event in Georgia makes the need for the organization painfully clear. Leo Frank, a Jewish businessman who moves to Atlanta to manage his family's pencil factory, is convicted of the rape and murder of a 13-year-old female employee following a trial which was defined by anti-Semitism. When the governor reduces his death sentence to life in prison, a mob, including some influential community leaders, drags Frank from his prison cell and lynches him. It is not until decades later at ADL's urging that the state of Georgia issues Frank a posthumous pardon. For 100 years, the Anti-Defamation League has been a force for change, a champion of our nation's values, and a shield against hate and extremism. ADL has come a long way, from two desks in a Chicago law firm, to an internationally recognized leader in the fight against prejudice, bigotry, and hate. With 28 offices across the country and a team of professionals and lay leaders dedicated to stopping the defamation of the Jewish people and securing justice and fair treatment to all. Adele begins its second century knowing that there is much more work to be done. Imagine a world without hate. Adele will not rest until the dream becomes a reality. Imagine a world without hate.